Another beautiful weekend is here. You are so welcome to Let's Talk Entertainment here on your favorite news channel, Joy News on Multi TV. You know how we do it here. We bring you all the entertainment stories, events that you've missed during the week. And this weekend is no exception. Your girl Becky is here to get you sorted. Yeah, so sick and stay because I will be right back with all the stories, all the gist that you need to hear in the world of entertainment. Before I come back though, uh, you would have to listen to this one from Simi Jorumi. I'm so much in love with that song. And so I'm bringing it to you. We'll be back with all the stories. Jorumi, Jorumi, I want you to love me. Jorumi, baby. Jorumi, Jorumi. Kilo de, kilo de. Why you know they call me? Kilo de, baby. Kilo de. That was Jeremy by Simi. Simi is actually in Ghana to promote uh, her album, uh, Simi Sola. And of course, uh, we spoke to her. We'll be bringing you that interview uh, in a while. But the song actually is talking about uh, ladies. Yes, ladies, you can actually propose to anyone that you think that you're interested in. Maybe, just maybe, uh, they will walk you down the aisle. But you should, you know, select carefully. So Simi is just advising all ladies, you know, to go out there when you're feeling here, when you're feeling him actually, when you're feeling him, just, you know, walk up to him and tell him, well, baby, I'm feeling you, you should just take my number and, you know, we can pick it up from there. Basically, that's what uh, Jeremy is talking about. But let's, you know, come back to the reason why we're here, all the stories that you need to hear in the world of entertainment. So let's start with I don't praise everything you need to know about at Don't Praise 2017 how multimedia part three old patrons Steve Crown, Joe Metal, Celestine Donko we got all the highlights right here on the weekend edition of Let's Talk Entertainment you don't want to miss this Definitely, I'm sure you'll be waiting for next year's at Dome Praise. I'm sure you've missed out on everything you haven't, you know, made time to go for the 2017 at Dome Praise. Well, uh, congratulations to everybody who made it. I know you have been blessed. Multimedia choir, you guys are super. And we're expecting more from you guys, you know, hopefully next year when it happens, when uh, you will see myself on stage, you know, doing all the things that... 
<laughs> gospel musicians do, yes. <laughs> Away from Adum Praise, let's talk about Miss G. Miss G, our very own Miss G from the entertainment decks. Uh, she got married over the weekend, of course. Let's talk entertainment. We were there. We bring you highlights of everything that happened. The kisses, the dress, you know, the personalities that passed through. We had, you know, almost all the celebrities passing through. I was there as well. So uh, let's take Miss G and Raymond's wedding. With time, you see that she's built up herself, she's matured herself, she's gotten a lot more, you know, knowledge, and she now has friends in the industry, and she speaks with them, and for us, the kind of thing we do, it's more about the gossip, you know, and, she was, and she's delivering the gossip, and people are loving the combination on TV, and that is what it's all about, actually. <laughs> Yes, it's a beautiful assembly of men and women to celebrate our colleagues, Miss G and Raymond Aqua. We wish them well as they start the journey. is a great guy, it's a great colleague. Miss G is a great colleague as well. They are fabulous people, um, but it takes more. Um, sometimes you are excited outside when you get home. It's a different ball game. They must carry the bubbleness from outside to the home. Like they say, brevity is the soul of wit. Um, I, I, I think simply so that, I, um, I repeat what all I right. just we're told Kojo Yangsin a while ago, where ready. the Bible says so that while we're getting love to is the unconditional cake, and it sees and no He's wrong. So, um, marriage is a very long journey, and, you, you know, know, it's a very beautiful thing and there's so much joy when you get you married and then you realize all the love, goodness that comes with right? it. It's very different from relationship. We welcome Miss G to the wifey association. Yeah, I think it's a special day for her, you know, and uh, I mean, I wish her all the best. To, today is very special. That's the more reason why you see all of us here, you know, um, actually coming to support her. Uh, we pray for her, you know, we pray for long life, you know, more happiness in the marriage and more success. Hello. I know you've been friends with Miss G for, you know, some time now. Yeah. How did you guys meet? Uh, we met through the media, of course. Uh, she's been pretty amazing. Even, even though we met within a short period of time, she's been very faithful, sincere. She's like more than a sister to me. Mm -hmm. And then I thought that I should make her day memorable as being a part of it. Raymond wow. and Miss G, what a Let's beautiful, a beautiful winners. surprise. Mm -hmm. Mr. And so Mr. exciting Aqua. to have a media couple genuinely in love, started. bringing different dimensions right, together. Yeah. So we're so happy. We are asking for God to bless them. And we look forward to media children. All right, at the same event, we caught up with Israel Laie, you know. Uh, we decided to shine the light on Israel Laie and, you know, his entertainment uh, sense, yes. We tried to find out from him whether, you know, he would go into movies, music, music, he's so bad. And dancing, no, 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 no. But Izzy says that uh, he is interested in acting. Can you imagine Israel Lai on your screens? Not really in the news, but you know, acting, you know, smooching some lady. Well, he says that he is ready for the movie industry. And of course, he's been talking to us here on Let's Talk Entertainment. Israel Lai, everybody. Fairy music. Yeah. I'm lots of me, I mean, I love all the genres actually. So it could be. It could be high life, it could be R&B, it could be old school, it could be high life. I, I mean, I love all of them. You know, uh, you, you have been part of this industry for a very long time. I'm just a baby. I grew up watching Bra Lai, um, you know, 
I call him Brad Light. Why you guys? Why you guys say that? You are so old. old. You are, you but you still look so good. Old. Ah, thanks. But Izzy, tell us. I mean, you've been in this industry for a very long time. What do you make of our industry? I'm talking about the entertainment industry. You've met a couple of, you know, people. You've interviewed most of them. It's. I think the entertainment industry is growing. It's growing in the sense that, well, sometime in the past. We really didn't take these things seriously, but you can see that the celebrity culture is growing in the country. And with the growth of the celebrity culture, you can have an entertainment industry that thrives, which is what is happening. It's going to take a bit more time for us to get to you know, the likes of the US and the Hollywoods and the rest, but we're getting there. Are we going to be seeing you singing, you know, acting, or you know, anything of that sort? The last time you tried to dance, but it didn't really work for you. So, no, the last is that? Last I mean, okay, okay, okay. Let's clear this. We thing just up. that uh, dancing uh, bit, that dancing <laughs> bit. They re no, that dancing bit. So I was just getting into the groove. Okay. And then they took the shot, <laughs> and they circulated that. But if they are taking their time and taking the end bit of the video, my groove was just on points, man. <laughs> so, okay, I, I, does that mean that easy? Uh, you won't go into entertainment? Because we're talking about entertainment. We're talking entertainment already, easy. I don't know. Yeah, we're talking entertainment. So, we want to see part you. of it. Yeah. What do you want me to do? Like, act well, I don't know what you want to do, you know, attached to... I don't know what tomorrow brings. And I never say never. Have you thought about it? Yeah, I have thought about it. I have thought about it, but so can we appeal to you know all the movie producers, maybe all the music producers, to you know just check him out? He's still young at 43. See, maybe the movie producers. Let's talk okay. to them. I mean, Shelley Frimpoman. So yeah, I'm here. Okay. Come. Will you charge them? I hear okay. you're very expensive. Who said that? Well, that's what people are saying. Voiceovers and all that. Well, he's not only. You know, a media practitioner. He does voiceovers as well. With the voice, the Israeli voice. With the voiceover thing. Well, you can say you know I charge a little bit more than everybody else. I mean, but we can talk at any point in time. We can talk. I mean, just come forward if you want a commercial voiceover. We can have a conversation. Uh, let's let's just uh, end this beautiful interview with okay. a song. Your fa what's your favorite song? Oh, right now, right now, right now. This is track by Kitty. Kid. Yeah, and then uh, this other one too by Kwame Eugene, which is on point. If you can start, we can sing together. I don't know uh, the other song. Oh, do yeah, we will do from Israel Lion talk about the man insane I'm talking about Paul Kese on his birthday he decided to sign a musician Kum uh, producer I'm talking about a music producer yes why because he thinks that uh, he has grown over the years and it's time for him to nurture somebody to grow somebody into becoming you know another king of the street so uh, Paul signs Conti GH uh, affectionately called Sponti GH. Uh, he's been in the industry for some time now, but you know, Paul decided to just you know put him on his record label and you know see how they can help the music industry. We spoke to Paul and he tells us the reason for uh, signing Sponti GH. Um, um, I think um, as you were saying, you were people would be expecting bigger, bigger cakes on the table. Um, but um, I decided to cut my cake in, in a way by signing an artist to my label because um, I feel like um, it's been much of me and uh, um, it's time for me to grow you know, with other people and by, by so doing signing other people to the label. So um, to go and buy cake, buy drinks for people to come and have fun and go back. I think it would have been it would be nice to rather go home with the news that Kwakesi on his birthday instead of sign, um, cut, cutting a cake, you know, signed an artist. Um, I think this has not been done before, and um, I think I have I've always set records, and this is one of them. So uh, on my birthday, I'm officially 
unveiling my new artist Sconti, um, who is been with us for some time now. We officially, you know, launch him as a my time artist. What, 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 why Sconti? This is Sconti or Sconti? Scon. Um, it, 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 the spelling is S K O N T I. Sconti. Um, you can, you know, do it in your own dialect or whatever, but it's, the spelling is always going to be the same. Um, Sconti has been behind the scenes. He produced um, Yakubu featuring Sarkodie. And um, he's also produced for other artists like um, Samini, um, Edem, and, 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 and a lot of you. And um, I think he's a, he's a, he's a, um, a great talent and um he needs somebody to bring him you know to the limelight and um i think my time thought of it and um thought of bringing him on board so we can you know grow this business together so sconti is, is is somebody he's he's been doing it he, he's dropped a couple of singles out but we are officially um you know launching him today with his new um song Kiss and Tell, um, which is an audio and a video as well. Yeah. So Sconti is uh, a, a musician. He doubles as a producer as well. Is he coming on the label as a musician, a producer, or uh, what exactly is he coming on board to do? I mean, signing him. Um, he's coming on board as a, pro, um, a producer and a musician and also a businessman. And... Um, you know his ideas are so dope so um, i think he's got more to offer not just music but other stuff he also directs um he co-directed his new video um kiss and tell so uh, you know the man is made up of a lot of talent yeah. how long are you keeping him on the label uh, do do we have a, a lifespan uh, two years maybe a, a year or you know, since he's the first person to be signed on the artist or on the on, on the label. Um, you know, um, normally we, we put pen on paper um, to signify to the world that we have business. That's why we are doing that today. But um, me and him, our relationship has got a long way to go. But pen on paper, we are doing five years, and um, after the five years, I believe God's grace. It would have been risen to to the top all right that was the man insane for you Kwaoke said all the best we hope that you sign more artists you know onto your mat time label you can sign me if you want to we'll all be doing the you know about damn crazy but let's move away from Kwao and talk about Kwao master he says that he will soon be out with an album Mm hmm yes you know for the many people who think that Kwa Master is just sitting down and not doing anything he says that he's working so hard to put out an album so you know that uh, he is capable of doing this all by himself Kwa Master everybody I think recently I came back from Australia and I went to represent Ghana for the Athlete French Festival uh, so I'm back to actually continue my you know building up my album because I started the album before I left you know and this this I'm back uh, for you know for good now I'm actually preparing the album I've dropped a new single uh, which is titled Double Up you know and that's that's what's actually trending now in addition what was the meaning of that? What, what does it entail? Oh, Double Up was just a party song. You know, that's, that's for, for some time I've been working on just love songs, inspirational songs and all that. So, Team Forest has thought, okay, this time let's hit the club, let's hit, you know, a party. So, yeah, basically that's, that's, that's how, you know, we started the whole thing. And um, it came out really, really good, uh, produced by Gadis Greg, you know, a, a new up upcoming engineer. And um, supported by my my guy, a Paris that I'm outdooring, the Mason, you know. So uh, I've got a couple of things that I'm working on, bringing out some Paristas as well. Parista, the Mason, Parista, Unipa, you know, and then Parista JTZ. These are the three Paristas I'm bringing out. So yeah, Paristas, you just watch out. A lot of things happening. Yeah, yeah. We and we're talking on a double up video too as well. I think in about a week to come. Yes, uh, we'll be dropping. 
no, no, we'll be shooting the video for Double Lab. So all those asking me about the video, yeah, yeah, because they, they love the audio so much that they are, they can't wait for the video. Watch out, we are planning something special, some, something good. You know, now when you do something, it's not just for Ghana, you know. It's, it's, when you put it online, it goes everywhere. So we are trying to get, to get the best for our choristers. All right, that was Choir Master for you. Choir Master, we wish you all the best. We hope that you will surprise every Ghanaian who has been underestimating you. Bring out that album. We don't even know the name of the album, but you should, you know, be fast about it. Congratulations to you, you know, on your solo project. We wish you all the best. But let's move away and talk about another group, Legendary VVIP. We we're talking to them on the Friday Hangout. They have so many things to talk about. Koliko song is all over. We caught up with them and uh, here is what Reggie and you know the other members have to say. Well I'm about to talk to you know one of them. So uh, hello guys I'm talking about the VVIP. Slangs in your day. Let's talk about Koli which is you know currently making uh, airwaves. You know, everybody's talking about Koli Ko. Uh, but what I want to find out from you guys is what, what is the inspiration behind the Koli Ko? Uh, well, it pretty much um, says it all. Um, it's a song, it's like an ode, uh, a sort of like an anthem to all the people that ever hated on you, all the people that ever doubted you, people that looked down on you, that come out. And you only be an essay, say, oh, oh, but oh, oh, start, and not maybe I know, show, so, okay, you won't make it, we are cool, you know, who am I, who am I, and when you watch the video, we pretty much uh, uh, show you all the dynamic, um, outspoken people in the video you know you have counselor Lutras in the video you have one love the Kobola in the video the fiashras niggas in the video everyone who is outspoken and thick skin who you know can take a hit and uh relentless they never give up and this is who um yeah so so be how are you now uh, who, who are you who are you thinking about when you guys were you know putting this song together the koliku who is your hater who do you think is your hater <laughs> i don't have a hater yeah, we're just talking in general, you understand? It's a general topic. It's a song to motivate people, you understand? Like, if you're doing something and like, you know, confess you have to prove to them that you can really do it. So that's all it's about. Yeah. You, you guys have been together for how long now? Um, let's talk about, yeah, yeah, VVIP, VVIP. You, you, you guys are still together. Yeah. I, I am trying to talk about, you know, unity in the music industry. Um, Grandpa, what, what do you make, first of all, of, you know, how you guys are, you know, working in the industry? Are you guys united? Um, we are, but we could be better. Okay. Um, there's always room for improvement. Um, you know, there's power in numbers. See, see, I'm not growing up being so over here in Nigeria. We'll be a Jan and I'll be feel to myself. And to your Juma, you know, from all the hip life struggles, I feel now, you always hear the D. So I was saying, Kabum the bus is say because a Jan and I break. I've been, I've been to Yan Kani Shikeke and I'm a kind of, you know. We are like poster boys for uh, unity. Because Osha, VIP now, VVIP. Men, I'm there, grown up by, but ne, me and my brothers, yeah, 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 boom. I still are here, boom. So it works. And you know, um, yeah, 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 because yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so do you think uh, we're not united? The, the do you think? I don't. I, we are, but not enough. We could do more. Okay. We could do more. And this is not only on the musical level. It's as a, a country, a whole country. You know, let's raise the level of patriotism. Let's be about Ghana. Everything Ghanaian. Look at the T-shirt I wear. You see, you see okay. read it. it. Says G H, not G H. Me and Jai, pull him down. Me and Jai, me and Jai see a time what am I say? This is a Ghanaian thing. I don't know where we're on the other people. Joe, brother, cry, make I cry, I'm with you. Make I cry, I'm with you. I'm with you, brother. No, so I show up to you. Anyway, listen. Um, it, it, it might be a Ghanaian thing. I don't know, but I hate. I, I like to think it's not. Uh, I think it's a human thing. I think we have left it, and it has become almost cultural now. So we need to unlearn everything that we learned and uh, show these new kids that you know we could be about Ghana. 
you know, or say, yeah, this is the land of Kwame Nkrumah. We, we're in the pocket one, you are. You know, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the English they speak the sweet there too, my they watch your face. Yeah. Huh? They say they go stop me, huh? but I they look them, they laugh. Cause I they see them like toys. Somebody say, go, 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 go. Uh, you 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 made mention something on radio. I was listening. You mentioned yeah. something that uh, the ghetto youth. I don't know yeah. whether you're referring to the ghetto youth, but yes. they're doing drugs. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, you know, we are the seniors. We are the people that they look up to. Uh, fortunately, I, we have lived all over the world. I have seen similar uh, situations all the way from New York to London, all over the world, where um, drugs will infiltrate. Uh, the, the poor and then just mash the whole scene up. Uh, what is happening in Ghana is we're not paying attention to these youth. We're not paying attention to what's happening in our backyards. So your children are going to drugstores and they, they're mixing codeine or whatever and, and you don't even know what they're under, you know. And so we need to nip it in the butt now because some of these drugs have repercussions you don't even want to be about. Trust me, we've lived it, we've seen it, okay. I mean, you have meth coming into the neighborhoods, all kinds of drugs that the, the, the parents don't even know, the older folks don't even know about. So it is necessary that we nip it in the bud now. So VVIP, just like with this sanitation, you buy a bit too mugate mugate mufi. I feel you too nipano so 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 we can educate them and show them. Say, look, bro, ne we. What am I saying? Ne ne abano ya Jack. Just I will share that yeche. Aso. I say irasa irumwa yentimi. I'm, I'm, I'm just wondering how this is going to play out, how you're going to eradicate all you know, those things in, the, yeah. in, in our various neighborhood. How, how are you guys going to do that? Yeah, we know the joint, so we start going ghetto to ghetto, you understand? With some of our brothers in the ghetto who know the I mean, right joints to go from their head, that we just start from there, talking to people on how to stop those things. If you don't stop to, sometimes we have to come with force, you see? Yeah, sometimes we have to be over there with force to make sure, you understand? It's not like we are coming just to arrest you or come to take you to where you don't really sleep. We are just putting you where you have to change your life. If it's the rehab or somewhere, I mean, we we'll try and organize all those stuff and put you at the right place to stop that thing. That's it. Fantastic, fantastic idea. I think. Of course, I with, well, of course with, with media, media like this, this platform, you on TV, because don't think it's about just the hood, it affects everybody. fantastic idea um, yeah of course join news we are in full support of everything that you guys do but apart from that what's the way forward after we're done eradicating all the drug dealers and oh, you know that's, everybody that's and, and <clears throat> that's the beauty of our lives we keep making the music Koliko is number one everywhere uh, the music the video is, is, is crazy go on Facebook go on Twitter go on Instagram go on YouTube watch a video leave a comment that's what Ghanaians do from Patapa to Kuliko we are a happy nation we keep it happy we're smiling you guys, you guys are going for, going for the Grammys as well yeah, nah, you're now. Right, let's move away from legendary VVIP and talk about uh, our very own Simi Simi is all the way from Nigeria she's in Ghana to promote her album Simi Solo and of course, you know why we do it here on Let's Talk Into Them. We'll give you all the exclusives 
Simi was on the show. She spoke about the album, the fact that she's not dating files, you know, so many things you need to know about Simi right here on Joy News on Multi TV. I got Simi for you. Really here in Ghana, obviously, to promote your album, yeah. uh, Simi Sola. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the album. I, Simi Sola. Simi Sola. You say it just, what you said it just now it was uh -huh. just perfect. Oh, Simi Sola. No, you're in the <laughs> Okay, tell us about the album. I know that uh, the jam song is on the album as yeah. well, and jam we have jam question yeah. featuring your husband. <laughs> See, I don't know. You guys Actually, just the one on the together. album doesn't have files on it okay. because the one that has files on it is the remix. Okay, but the one on the but album he's he's in there. the video. Oh, the yes, last he bit of the video. Yeah, he's there's in. actually a, a version of the audio where that has him on it. Okay, that's the remix, but that's not the one on the album. Okay. Okay, that's that's fine. Tell us about the album. Why should we, you know, go get uh, Simi Sola? Yeah, um, I mean, that's a body of work that I put a lot of my heart into. Not just me, my entire team. You know, my producer, Oscar. Um, and we worked on this album for over a year, trying to get it together and making sure that, you know, it was just right. Mm -hmm. And um, the process of writing the songs, mixing the songs, because I'm a sound engineer, so... Okay. Um, That's interesting, you know. Yeah. Um. Do we know that she's a sound engineer as well? I'm not sure <laughs> well, this is the first know. time I'm hearing A lot of people don't know that yeah. because, I mean, but uh, yeah, I am a sound engineer and I, I mix and I master, but my album I only mixed. Okay. Yeah, and so just it was a very um, intense process and just getting it done and getting it ready for people. Just I want people to get it because it's very honest. Mm. You know, it's it's like it's from my heart everything is i was i described this album as life through my eyes some of the experiences are mine okay. and some of the experiences are of people that i've seen things happen to okay. you know so it's just like life through my eyes and i like to write songs that are as relatable as possible so. mm. and it's almost always about love Yes. Are you is. in love though? <laughs> and have you find found the jo, Joro? Is it Joro me? Yeah. Have you have um, you found him? Because you, well, you've been proposing to this guy for yeah. how, how many days now? <laughs> have you found him? Well, I mean, yeah, off and on. We find him, we lose him, we find him. <laughs> so but hopefully you're finding him here in Ghana, I'm sure. Anything I hope can happen. He's somewhere. Anything can happen. Mm. Yeah. What what happened to gospel music? Because you um, used to be a gospel musician, yeah. what, what happened? Um, I actually to? started out. I started out in gospel music, and um, I think I switched about quite quite a while now. I can't remember when exactly, but I remember that I wanted to start to I wanted to start doing songs that were. I wanted to be more versatile. I wanted to do music as an art, as a job. Okay. You know, so I just wanted to just expand my territory and everything. So that's. You know, it was quite a, it was a, it was quite a, I had to debate with myself mm. because all I'd known before then was gospel music, mm -hmm. you know, so just to be able to get to that point, I was really excited. So is it a rumor that you're going out with Pals? <laughs> no, he was actually in Ghana. Yeah. And we spoke to him right here yeah. on this network and yeah. he said, well, nothing's going on. We're just friends. Yes. We have chemistry, which you guys have a song together like that yeah. chemistry. Um, What's up? Faz and I are just really good friends. Wow. We're really you guys are friends. like, you know. Like kids in the pod. <laughs> We're the friends. Part, the part I love about that soldier song yeah. where you have to say your father. And, and <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> yeah, Faz, Faz is my friend. We're very close. And I mean, we crack. The thing is that I try to infuse as, you know, even if it's just a small humor in my songs. Sometimes, even if I'm singing a serious song, I like to do something mm -hmm. that people will smile or laugh. Very different. Yeah, and Faz is a funny guy. You know, people see him and they laugh. He doesn't have to say anything. And I think that definitely worked in our favor when it comes to creating music together. He's just, you know, we get it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I make, you, I make you smile a little bit. He's gonna make you laugh. Do you understand? And so that 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 works well if you're doing it. If two people come like that together, it just makes a great song. And then we use that to our advantage. We do, we have an EP together called yeah. Chemistry. Yeah. And then we so. use that to our advantage. We're like, okay, people really like this. We when do. we do a song together, you know, how about we just make like a whole project together? Okay. Oh, we're just friends. I'm, I'm disappointed. 
disappointed, but it's okay. I mean, it's you and well. On that note, we end Let's Talk Entertainment right here on your Joy News channel on Multi TV. As you heard from Simi, all the way from Nigeria, sweet voice, fantastic voice. You heard from a VVIP legend, with VVIP Roger Rockstone, 52 years, still looking young. Israel Lyas will pass through on Let's Talk Entertainment. He's also 42 and still looking young and still hoping that he will get a movie role. We wish him all the best but this is what you've missed if you think that uh you know, i mean you should join us same time next weekend for another exciting edition of let's talk entertainment the name as always is becky